So speaking of a day, somebody say this is supposed to be holy day. Not holidays. Holy day. All right, we're going to go to Luke 2, verses 11, and I'm going to close with this. Luke 2, 11 says, The angels said to the shepherds, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The angels didn't tell us the date, but they said this day. Somebody say, The message of the birth of Christ has never been about the day. Only the day. I've had people try to debate about my messages, my worship associated with Christ, even in the church during this time of the year. I had somebody attacking me the other night. I'll be glad when some saints get entertained to get back to helping us on social media actually make comments. Because, son, I'm telling you, the witches and stuff, hey, some stuff y'all don't ever see, I have to delete it. I have to block them. I had to block somebody the other night just attacking me, just, just pure out attacking me. Amen. They ain't going to listen to me preach, but when I say something, as they're going to take that and they're going to turn it off after they attack and they just come back to check, see if you want to debate with them. Amen. And I had a witch try to debate me over this years ago on social media. I don't know if the witch switched, but she switched off. I ain't heard back from her. And that's when God gave me this revelation. Sometimes when the enemy attacks you, that's when God will give you revelation like you've never heard before. And, and, and this witch attacked me and started trying to give me all kind of proof of the actual date of Christ. And really, in all reality, if you, if you study all this stuff, he would have been born maybe in the spring of the year. But I don't care if he was born in March, July, August. I don't care if he weren't born because most likely he weren't. I'll just go ahead and tell you, on December 25th, and there's a reason for that, and I'm not getting into all that. I don't care, because my Bible, your Bible, no Bible, the Bible that's God's, tells us of the date. The angels didn't say, this date. They said, this day is born unto you. So I don't worship a date. I don't even worship the day. I worship the day star. I worship the one the day, and the date is for, that it's about. In Matthew 2, verses 2, the Magi, which would have been two years. How do you know that? Because Herod, when he wanted to kill Christ, he told his men to go into Bethlehem. It was a fulfillment of prophecy. Kill every child, male child, from two years under. Because he asked in Matthew 2, 7, he wanted to know the date, the time, when the Magi saw the star. So he wanted to know the date. He told them to tell them the prophecies, and they quoted from Micah 5 to Micah said out of Bethlehem would come God's ruler, his king. So he knew it was Bethlehem because of prophecy. And he inquired of the Magi when they first saw the star. Hello? Now, I don't know if the star was there when the shepherds got there. The Bible don't tell us. The star is only mentioned, and by the way, we don't worship saints. We don't worship angels. We don't worship stars. We worship the bright and morning star. We worship the one that put the stars up there. All right? So Herod wanted to know, when did you see the star? Matthew 2, 7. So Herod, his very spirit that is wicked, that's whirling us, is about the time of the birth of Christ. And remember he told, you know, the Magi, when you find him, come back and tell me because I want to go worship him. He didn't want to worship him. He wanted to waste him. That's where I got that phrase from years ago. He didn't want to go worship Jesus. He wanted to waste Jesus because he wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill the king of kings. He wanted to murder the Messiah because he was too concerned about his throne. He didn't want a king to be over him because he was be the king, you know, the ruler, the governor. Of that. And so, but what he didn't understand, this was in the end. This weren't in when he came as an infant. But anyhow, and so the welling was heard throughout Ephrathah, out through Bethlehem, because they went there. But remember the, the gold and the frankincense, the mirth of Matthew 2, 11, that the Magi had gave to Jesus when they opened up their treasures? That's what financed Joseph and Mary escape with the young child Jesus. To go into Egypt, eventually, amen, back into Israel, and then wind up back in Nazareth to all fulfill scriptures. Amen. 
So their gift financed the spreading of the gospel, but kept Jesus, preserved Jesus. Amen. Because Herod wanted to kill him. So Herod, amen, when the Magi didn't return back to him, he was mad. Why? Because they had a dream in verses 12 of Matthew 2, and God told them to go back to their country another way. Somebody say they got up and did what God told them. They went home a different way. They didn't go back to Herod. Because God specifically told them Herod wants to kill him. And so they didn't go back. So when Herod couldn't find out who he was, he knew Jesus. He knew Christ was somewhere in Bethlehem. So he said, I'll fix it. I'll just kill every male child two years and under. So that means the wise man must have told him two years ago when we first saw the star. So he knew the child now had to be a young child. Matthew 2, 11 calls him that. He's a little, at least a two-year-old toddler. So he said, I'm going to kill every male child in Bethlehem two years under so to make sure I get him. So he's somewhere between the birth and the two-year mark. Come on. Hey Amen. Most likely closer to the two-year. That's why he went on up to do, because he wanted to know the time. Somebody say the spirit of wicked, worldly Herod is still at work today. It operates through those who say you should have no association with the December 25th worship of what they call Christmas or Christmas. You shouldn't associate with it because nobody knows the date. Well, friend, my Bible again didn't say the angel said in Luke 2, Heaven, amen. Unto you this date is born, but unto you this day. The Bible don't tell us what day, but the Bible tells us he came. Matthew 24, 27 said, no man knows the day or the hour when he'll come again, but I still worship him every day because I know one day it could be today he'll come again. So those who, who are trying to debate about the date he come the first time, and those that are trying to announce the date he'll come the second time, they're operating in the same spirit of Herod and worldliness and wickedness. It's error. Come on, somebody. It's false doctrine. It's a false narrative. It takes away. Come on. The Bible said in 1 Timothy 1 4, the Bible said we're not to follow after endless genealogies. Amen. Which, amen, minister questions, but rather the faith. So do ye. God didn't call no preacher to sit around and reason about the genealogies, the timetables, and the dates. He just called you to preach the one who came, and he'll come again. Now, I don't care if it's January 25th, February 25th, March 25th, day before my birthday. I don't care if it's March, or excuse me, don't say March, I'm marching in. Let me march on out of March. Hallelujah. April 25th, May 25th. Come on, amen, and just go ahead and say all, oh, amen, the months of the year till you get to December 25th. It don't make no difference to me, and neither does it to God. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Because the date has never been the message. The day was mentioned, not the date. It's about him, not a date. I don't know when he came, don't care. All I know is he come. And all I know is 30, 33 years ago, he come in here. I don't even know the date. I just know the month, October. It's 1991. I don't know. I don't know when he'll come again, but I know Matthew 24, 44 said it'll be an hour we think not. Look around, Christ must Eve 2023. 20, look at all the emptiness that the excuses fill the hearts of many. And it ain't just a day like today. Some people's got legitimate excuses. I know this is a family moment and people have, but I, I ain't gonna go too deep in there. Hello? But what, what made them miss 50 times before that? I got detailed sheets of percentage. Not every person that says they go here. They ain't gonna call no names out. But come next Sunday, I'm gonna call some percentages out. I'm gonna show you what's going on. Huh? I want you to hear about the spirit of truth. I don't know when he's coming. That's why I ain't gonna miss no day to worship him, preach him, exalt him. Live for him. Look at somebody beside you say, oh, I don't know the date he came first time. Tell him saying, I don't really care. All I know is he came. I believe and I've been changed. 
They'll try to debate over the, when he was crucified on the cross. I do not care. All I know is I believe. I don't know the date of the first day in the beginning God created. The heavens and the earth, Genesis 1-1. But all I know is there was a day one because there's still the same God here today. After day one. And I believe. That's all I, be that's all I care to know. I believe. I believe in him. And I don't know when he's coming again. But when you look at the signs of the times and when you look around and see Matthew 24, 44. He said it'll be in a, a day and an hour you think not. What's that mean, think not? It's not on people's minds. He ain't on their minds. You know why he ain't on their minds? They're not thinking. Because he ain't in their heart. Christmas time in the city. Ring a ring. Hear them sing. It's Christmas time. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Christmas time in the city. Hear them ring, sing, sing. They're missing. Christmas time in the city, but it ain't Christmas time in the heart. He's not here. That's why he's not thought about too much there. That's why, you know, the Bible in Luke 14 didn't say they gave excuses. It said they made them. Yeah. Do you understand? And I ain't going to go into, I'll get into that again next Sunday because I got to. Because that was the theme all year long. But they didn't give an excuse. Somebody says there's a difference in making one and giving one. When you give one, it's legitimate. When you make it, it's a lie. Can't tell you the times this year I've heard people tell me stuff and the Holy Ghost would tell me they're lying. Please don't let any word get to me if you got an excuse and it's a lie. Because he'll tell me every time. I promise you he'll tell me every time. Every time. And if he won't tell me that way, he'll let something be sent in the mail to me. I'm not going to get too detailed with this. But something was told my wife weeks ago where somebody was. And that other church sent me a letter, a card, telling me where they was, and they didn't know nothing about me on that date. Well, they don't lie to the Holy Ghost. I'd rather people just tell me the absolute naked raw truth. <laughs> Hello? Because I promise you, every time he tells me, every time. So everybody say this day. Somebody say it's not about history. It's not even about the future. It's his story, all of it. Past, present, and future. He came, he's coming again. I don't care about a date and I don't care about the day. Amen. All I know is he came on a day and he'll be back one of these days and it could be today. Somebody said that's what's important. Amen. So you better watch out. You better not doubt. Because Jesus is coming back in the clouds with a shout. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost?